Did you ever tell anybody about your uncle-in-law? Yes, and nobody believed me, and I was put into the system of Department of Family and Children's Service. What? And um, nobody believed it then, and then he later on did it to other children. How did he get to do that at 10? Like, were you, were you guys be, like, somewhere alone? Or, like, what were the circumstances? Help parents um, to try would, to understand how this would, happens. Um, so how long had y'all been married? Over 17 years. 17 years? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and so it's two years ago, so it was about 40 when this, when this happened. Um, what was it that happened that caused a 17-year marriage to split up? So how, like, what did you see? Or? I went in the phone and I found everything. What'd you find? Oh, um, another female, pictures, phone number, cash app, um, bank account. All type of stuff. A whole new life. The whole, the whole All world. The world. <laughs> and when you, did you ask him about that? I did. What was his response? What's up, YouTube? I want to once again thank everybody who comes up to me in the streets and shows me real love. Y'all don't even know. It keeps me thankful. It keeps my tank full. Now, back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. So we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? Blessings, everyone. I know that's right. I know that's right. So are you homeless? I am in transition. Okay, and so how old are you? 42. 42. You look great. You look great. Um, and so how long have you been in this transition? Two years. Two years? What happened two years ago that caused you to be in this situation? A uh, separation. Okay, uh, from a romantic partner? Yes, spouse. Okay, um, were you like married or whatever or just y'all was together? Married. Okay, and so how long had y'all been married? Over 17 years. 17 years? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and so this two years ago, so it was about 40 when this, when this happened. Um, what was it that happened that caused a 17 year marriage to split up? Uh, an argument, a bad argument where we had, uh, interference or law, the authorities were involved. What happened? Uh, gaslighting, I guess. Um digital tags footprints and so before because uh, you're going to confuse us right so let me what? let well what, what, let, let's speak what plainly like the... yeah like what so okay so first of all did anybody go to jail yes who my spouse okay so your, your hubby went to jail mm -hmm. um how long did he have to be in jail for just a day okay so, okay so he was just kind of in and out that type of deal correct okay so what was it that happened to where he had to go to jail and y'all had to split up after 17 was, years. Uh, licks passed. Licks who? Licks passed. Hands. There were hands exchanged. Okay, okay. So, okay. So, was that the first time that he had put hands on you? Yes. Okay, okay. Due to an argument. What was the argument about? Um, what started the argument? I would say... Um, lack of communication. Well, in other words, speak plainly to us because we don't know like the particulars uh, of your situation. The argument started in regards to um, me having a lunch date with um, some counterparts, constituents, and entrepreneurship and business. And um, once he returned home, I was already there, and the argument started in regards to. Uh, Wherever you were, go back to where you come from, so to speak, with sarcasm. And the I assume the lunch date was with a guy? A friend, a, a guy and a girl. Okay, and so what was his, why was he so opposed to you having this lunch date? Um, I don't think it was a lunch date. I just think it was the time frame upon my arrival, but I was home prior to. What time did you get home? Uh, probably about 4.35 p.m. And so why was that a problem? Uh, probably to my late arrival coming back from DoorDash in the, the current morning or that prior morning. So he expected you back earlier than that? Uh, or not to be gone at all. Okay, okay. Um, why did you choose to go? Why did you choose to uh, go to the lunch and kind of go against his wishes? I'm uh, not going against his wishes. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, so there's always 
room for networking, marketing, and future business leaders of coming together to, I guess, look out for each other. And I guess ha had you had there already been like cheating and infidelity in the relationship? With the stamp, to my knowledge, yes. Huh? Now, yes, there's a timestamp of that the whole time. Yes. On your side, his side, or both? His side. Yeah. His side, not my side. <laughs> so you never cheated? No, nope, no. In I'm 17 years? No. Okay, okay. There's different forms of cheating, but not sexually. Okay, so you never cheated sexually? No, I didn't. What were the ways that you cheated? Communicating with other males. And was that what was going on at that time? I'm a female, girl kind of guy. Like, those are the only people that I get along with. I really don't do it. So that has been going on. That's me. That's my that's my character. So that never changed or made a difference to my knowledge. Was so, he always like concerned about you dealing with guys or whatever? If that was the case, he didn't address it. Huh. It's because I'm trying to figure out where that energy came from when mm, the insecurity. Yeah, where where did it come from? As the old people say, the pot can't call to kill the black. So I think he was accusing me for what had what, what he, was, he was doing. Yes, honestly. Yeah, they they tend to say that that when people are cheating, they tend to be the accusers. Um, and so whenever someone's accusing you and you're not really doing nothing, that's almost a red flag that they're doing something. You know. Agreed. Okay, so that happened two years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. And so, do you have any kids? Yes. How many? Mother of five. Five. Okay. And so, how old is the oldest? How young is the youngest? My oldest is 19 and my youngest is 6. Okay, okay, 19 is 6. And so, okay, and so as far as like, it sounds like a lot of them or most of them are minors, right? Yes. Um, who do they live with right now? They are in the care of their father who was, is the financial provider. Okay, so the same guy we're talking about, right? Yes. Okay, are y'all still legally married? Yes. Okay. Um... So, and same dad for all the kids? Yes. Okay, okay, gotcha. All right, so, huh. <laughs> because it's been two years, so, like, how often, for instance, do you get to see the kids? As much as I request or upon the request of the children. Okay, and so how often? So it's regularly. Over the course of the last two years, how often would you say that's been? If you had to average it out, like, once a week, once a month, once a day. Once an Maybe hour. once a month. Once a month type deal? Maybe twice a month. Maybe twice a month. Just depends. I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay. Um, why do you think it's been two years that you've kind of had to try to get, like, you know, stable or whatever and you haven't been able to? Um, because I was not prepared to say um, that he could possibly leave or something of this nature could happen and I could be doing everything for my children on my own. So I got comfortable with being a homemaker as well as an entrepreneur and not um, using a W-2 or 1099 to be um, employed. And due to the finances, call it caused hardship and um, poor communication as well as trust issues. And um, um, Trust issues? Yes. How so? Um, I think those are just like the five basics. Uh, trust, communication, um, finances, um, trust issues, meaning um, honest and open of, of any question that I could ask or any question that could be asked with truth, not denial or giving an excuse. Um, okay. You're speaking a lot of code. <laughs> okay, so basically, there was questions that it was asked. He didn't like to be questioned. And um, if there was something uh, out of the norm on his normal routine that changed, it gave me red flags. So I really had... Like, what type of questions would you be asking? Um, coming home from work. Are you going to be here for dinner? Um, going out of town, not calling and saying I made it. You know, just poor communication with um, his job and due to travel of his job. Was he a truck driver? <laughs> Seems like it, but no, he's not. <laughs> That's what I said. How did you find out that he was cheating? iPhone digital footprint and tag. So how? Like, what did you see? Or? I went in the phone and I found everything. What'd you Digital, find? Um, a 
I know the female, pictures, phone number, cash app, um, bank accounts. All type of stuff. A whole new life. The whole, the whole A world. world. <laughs> and when you, did you ask him about that? I did. What was his response? You got what you were looking for, so do what you got to do. That's what the response was. Mm. So is there like, I guess, no chance of you guys getting back together, reconciling, anything like if that? God ain't in the middle of it, I don't think so. I mean like counseling, marital marital counseling, um and huh, more accountability instead of lack of accountability. Hmm. Okay. Because I mean I'm not advocating for him obviously putting hands on you and stuff like that. But I'm asked, did you put hands on him too? Oh, it's called self-defense. I get it. I you get can't it. get hit and not get hit back. I get don't it. I get it. If you don't want to get hit. Hey, man, don't dish it if you can't take it. <laughs> I understand. I understand. So, huh. I didn't pass a leak. I was I was the person that was receiving the leak, and I reacted. Right, reacted to that. I get it. I get it. Okay. What do your kids think about you guys splitting up and everything else? It's been rough. Rebellion. Um... I really don't know. I just know that it's a lot of display, uh, detachment and um, rebellion from the teenagers and talking back, the disrespect, um, just verbally. But so Was that going on prior to you guys splitting up? No, it wasn't. Man. It wasn't going on prior to the, uh, the allegations or me thinking that he was being uh, a cheater. Right. Right. Okay. 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 All right. So, so that's what's been going on. That's why you're out here. Yes, due to that in the case that we have concerning the the um, arrest that was made on that day. Well, why why does the case have you? Why is that contributing to you being out here? Um, it contributes to me just taking a low road and allowing my children to stay put and figuring out on my own to where. I'll be able to control my own destiny, basically. Yes. Did did you did you try to go to like a DV shelter? They told me that due to the fact there was an uh, um, another incident, and the incident had been too far out, as well as I didn't have my children with me, so they wanted me to pretty much traumatize my children and have them in a um, displacement or shelter or anything they were not used to in order for me to get the help that I would need from any county. You didn't go. You didn't try to go to one right away. Like, uh, what'd you do the, immediately I, after? He left. Okay, he, you was in the house. And so, how'd you end up out the house and nothing where? had my name on it. There was nothing substantial with my name on the living status, bills, lease, anything of the nature. That's a rough one. That's a yeah, rough. So one. basically, I was abandoned. If that's what you want to say. Oof. Seventeen years. Yep. Okay, and so. All right, so real quick, let's just real quick start from the beginning. Where are you from? Georgia. You from here? Yes, sir. Where am I? South Georgia. You from South Georgia? <laughs> where, like, Fayetteville or something like that? Like, where are you from? Literally, Waycross, Georgia. Waycross? Hey, man. Shout out that Waycross, Georgia, swamp, man. Swamp. Hey, yes, man. <laughs> Shout it yes, out, sir. man. Yes, sir. All right, all right. And so growing up in Waycross, did you have both mom and dad in the household? No, I was an 80s baby. Okay, so who'd you grow up with? My grandmother. Grandma? Okay, what were mom and dad? In the streets. Streets doing they want to? Yep. Okay. Um, how did you feel about that growing up? Lonely, displaced, um, sad. Did you have brothers and sisters? No, I'm the oldest of seven. Oldest of seven? Wow, okay. And so, I mean, growing up, would you say that you had like a fairly normal childhood? Yes. So I had younger siblings. <laughs> what age is the gap between you and the closest sibling? Ten years apart. Ten years? 82, 92. Wow. So I'm imagining it's not the same mom, same dad. Nope. Okay, okay. So mom, but then different yes, dads. Father. Okay, okay. Wow. And so, um, okay. Because, I mean, you ended up, you know, growing up and did you go to high school? I did. I graduated? I did. Okay. Um, any college after that? Um, some college, some and college. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Okay. Yeah, because you ended up, you know, doing your one, two, getting married, right? Right. Um, doing all the right stuff that they teach us to do. That um, dream to do, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, you know, the situation up like this. So, 
I'm going to ask, right, when you were younger, um, did anything like traumatic or anything like that ever happen to you? A lot. What age? Starting at the age of seven or eight. Mm. Car wreck. Where I almost died in Ludowitzi, Georgia, to a bad car wreck. And then as I grew up to um, young, older adolescents, um, <clears throat> molestation a lot of what age did that start 10 to 12 10 to 12 um was that someone that was like in the house with you type deal yes yes so it was like a family member married into the family member okay so it was an in-law was like an uncle-in-law or something yes, like that correct. okay okay was an uncle. and so at 10 you say 10 i mean that's really early um what how did he get to do that at 10? Like, were you, were you guys be, like, somewhere alone? Or, like, what were the circumstances? Help parents um, to try would, to understand how this would, happens. Um, he would wait till my mother was not in the area or not around to <laughs> give me a one-on-one -on -one, um, contact or in close close coordinates or, like, presence. And so what would he do? Would he just, like... It would be more so, like, uh, how, did I, how can I explain it? Um, younger teenager um liking boys giving advice come to me you can talk to me about anything and it will turn from that to um uh, hmm, it ain't no dr philly um basically just explaining or acting out what the good touch and bad touch was in late nights of the hour where no one was around basically mm. So he would be demonstrating to you, mm -hmm. acting like he's trying should. to. Mm -hmm. As a boyfriend should, so he wouldn't, it was more like a should have been an uncle slash father um, role model, but it was more like um, mentally and physically because of mind um, control as well as uh, naive. Mm, naivete, yeah, especially at those ages. Um, did it go like to penetration and stuff like that at a certain point? Yes. Okay, so how often would these things happen? Um, regularly. Until he was no longer within the The house city. or whatever? Mm -hmm. or what the house. what um what age was that? how old were you when it stopped or whatever? I would say about 11. 11? Mm hmm And so, he basically took your virginity. I was being too grown at some point in time, and I was messing around with somebody that I shouldn't have been messing with. So, that is how my virginity got taken. So, that was even before the uncle? After. Okay, so that was after the uncle? Okay. So, that's why I was asking. Did the uncle... So, he didn't... Mm. He didn't penetrate you, or he penetrated you after... after. I okay, the already. other guy. Okay, okay. Was the other guy, was he like close to your age or was he mm, someone that was a little bit no. older? He was a teenager and I was a preteen. Okay, so he was so like was 12, 16, was 17, 19. 19? Yes, and my mother found out and she brought, she pressed charges. Yes. Oh, wow. What? How did you know this guy? Uh, sports. I'm sorry? Sports. Sports? Sports. Mm -hmm, sports um, and we were in close. The, the what city. sport? Basketball, football, like travel, like traveling teams, track. So the city. And was, so was he on the sports team too, or? He was on a team. And that's football. how y'all met and knew each other. Um, Cause my friends. girls are in sports. We I'm like, friends. hold on. We had family, brothers, cousins that were all. In okay, the same so it's kind of family, friends. Okay, yeah. okay. So that's how that. And so, but you decided to do that, right? He didn't like take it from you, or whatever. Like, how how did that go? Oh. I shouldn't have been there, and it just got too far. Where was it? Where it shouldn't and have been where? I, I shouldn't have been in the, in that position, in a vulnerable vulnerable position, or being promiscuous, or you know, allowing this type of um, lie on myself to be in that type of environment due to the fact. That what did you? How did you lie? What what lie did you Meaning, like um, my house was used for the for for everything to go down. My friend girls was there, and they had their guy friend, but right. it was only I was the only one that was taking advantage of from the older guy huh yeah so uh sitting on top of him listening to music and hands come down slide to the side push down on me and 
done deal. Was it just one time or was it ongoing? Uh-uh, it was just once. And so how did your mom find out? Streets talk. <laughs> what? Yes. Did you tell or did he tell somebody? Yeah, obviously they did and the females that was around told. Wow. And he, City do you know how long? Big, but real small. Yeah, weight loss is a, yeah. So, okay, how? They have nothing to do Hey, how you that. doing, miss? How long, so, okay. How long was it between when it happened, between when? <laughs> Maybe about six months. Six months? Yeah, my mom found out she lost it from my older god sister who played sports with that guy. Oh, my goodness. How long <laughs> oh did he end god. up doing in jail or whatever? I don't know. No, but to my understanding, he has come. He came to his demise maybe about a decade or so ago. How? I was told from streets, which I never looked it up, that he died of a heart attack at the table Ooh. in his house. Okay. Did you ever tell anybody about your uncle-in-law? Yes, and nobody believed me, and I was put into the system of Department of Family and Children's Service. What? And um, nobody believed it then. And then he later on did it to other children. And so did they believe you then? Too late. And I already struck again. So wait, you had to go to defects after that because you told? No, due to the fact that my mother not giving proper parental guidance and not doing her, doing her one, doing two, her one two. Doing her one-two, yeah. And wasn't worried Where about Where was grandma one. at that point? Too old to chase me. Yeah. Elderly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Handicapped from the Ooh. car wreck that we had. So she was my bread and butter. But how long? And so you was in defects from what age to what age? Twelve to eighteen. Mm. How, so did, how did how did that make you feel? Unwanted, but self-made to where I had to go against all odds for what everybody spoke of me or thought of me or. That's wild for that to have happened to you and then for the end result to be you end up in defects ultimately. Foster care. Foster care, yeah, wow. Did anything happen to you while you was in the state's custody? Um, nope. Uh, no. No? I was good. I um, left South Georgia and I had a loved one to come and um, take custodianship or guardianship over me and I relocated. At the age of 12, I left Wake Forest, Georgia. Mm. And never look back. Wow. And so, your family members, your siblings, um, is your mom still alive? Yes, she is. Okay. We never talked about your dad this whole time. Have you had a relationship with him? I uh, Yes, I have had a relationship with him. Was it like, did it come on later on in life? Or was it something to where later it was... Later on in life. Later on in life? Um, so, I, I mean... I knew him at an early age, but we didn't have much of a bond. A because bond. he was put up okay he's taking a government sponsored vacation yeah <laughs> that's what we call those okay For the dumb choices he had already made in his uh teenage i get session. it i get it so i mean like do you not have family that you can kind of hunker down with and stuff like that kind of help you out until you get on your feet type deal nope no nope not in in a, in a better situation or have overcome a lot of the things that i've overcame no they're not i get it i get it okay all right all right well listen so what are we doing at this point to try to get ourselves out of this situation i am currently looking for remote work at home as well as a cash job um updating my resume learning digital marketing um just building my own brand as i um, find a more substantial way of bringing in some ducats yeah allocating my wealth to I ain't mad I at stand it stand on my own well listen miss we really appreciate you you're taking the time welcome. answering all of our questions you're very um, if anybody out there wanted to reach out help or donate do you have a way they could do that do you have social media cash app anything like that yes I do what I you got cash app is R-O-N-E-N-E-B as in boy R-O-N-E N-E-B. -E. N -E okay. All right. Well, listen, like I say, we really appreciate you. Thank you very Definitely much. Definitely wish you nothing but the best, all right? Listen, see you Make all sure you have a good one, sweetie. All right. Thank you.